Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I'm going to be going over every single picture slash teaser we got from Daco's charity livestream. And he actually did have ruined DLC teasers, I guess Scott sent them some last second or something. So let's get started on the first set of pictures. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and start with all the hex news we got. So first up, we got our first look at the Withered Foxy prototype. He said some changes are planned such as smaller hook, a different chest design, and different like face marks, and his snout shape. Me personally, I think this one does need a few more improvements because like, I don't know if it's just me, but like his face looks like, like fat, like it's like bloated. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Next up, we got a first look at the Withered Bonnie prototype. The changes planned for this one are fewer wires on the arm and adjustments to the mask. I think this one looks pretty cool and I love how the face can come off. Finally, we got concept art of Springtrap. Springtrap will feature wires like the Withers, metallic eyes, and it seems like they're still working on getting them out right. But just based off this, I think it looks really cool. So next up, I'm going to be showing all the Pop Goals related news. But before I do that, Dalko has also revealed his upcoming puppet Dalko YouTube's figure, and it will be releasing soon. And he also said that Bonnie will be included in the box alongside Freddy, which I think is amazing. So first up for Pop Goes is a reveal for a brand new phone unlock, which is based on the tape recorder from Finance of Candy's 3. Next up for Pop Goes is a reveal of the Halloween YouTube's pin set with glow in the dark skeleton Pop Goes. Next is a reveal of Evergreen's car park, which changes over time in endless mode. See, I've never played Pop Goes, so I don't know what any of this stuff means, but I have to say, this one looks pretty cool. And finally, for the final teaser for Pop Goes, is a full reveal of Evergreen's false balloon boy and the surprise jump scare. So now finally, onto the best part in my opinion, the ruined DLC teasers. So for the first one, we got what looks to be the lobby of the Pizza Plex. And if you compare it to the one we had just in like the base security breach, you can tell it's heavily worn down. Next, we got a new look at Glamrock Gifts, which also shows a staff bot. Next, we got a picture of what's left of the food court. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the food court area. Next up is a look of what's left of the daycare Lucky Stars gift shop, and we can also see one of those endoskeletons with this. Next is a new look at Monty Gator Golf Catwalks, and if you look closely, you can see Monty right here. I think this screenshot here looks incredible. Next is a new look at Chica's Cupcake Bakery, and you can clearly see Chica right here. Next up is another Monty Gator Golf one, and you can see Monty right here again. It looks like he's being crushed, which is really interesting. Finally is a brand new area called Monty's Ride Repair. This looks sick, and I'm assuming it's somewhere near the Monty boss fight area. I, and I'm wondering if there's any more locations we haven't seen yet. We'll just have to wait and see. So before I end this video, I just want to say thanks to Dalko for doing this. And if he is still live when this video comes out, I definitely recommend going over there and donating. Because it is all for a good cause. I would assume that Sky is going to go over there soon and donate something big like he always does. And even Steel will donate $2,500, which is amazing. So that's all the news that I have for this video. There was quite a bit, so I hope you guys enjoyed. So thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to subscribe for more FNAF news. Bye.